TV in there. I don't think I want to listen to Bob's Burgers right now. Hey y'all, what's up? I hope that you're having an awesome day. Um, so I have some explaining to do. Um, I know I haven't been very active on YouTube or even on my Instagram and I'm just, I want to kind of explain where I've been, where my mind has been and everything like that. Um, if you see this right here and this up here, it's just the light that's coming in from my blinds from the sun outside. So we're going to ignore that and I'm going to stop looking at my monitor. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm kind of rambly and all over the place. Like I said, it's been, uh, you know, a little while since I filmed, and I'm really sorry about that. <sighs> Basically, this video is an update for my VSG. I did have vertical sleeve gastrectomy in Tijuana, Mexico with the Mexico Bariatric Center. I had my surgery July 13th of this year, 2018. Um, I will have my stats listed down below in the description box. Um, I have lost almost 70 pounds. That's including my pre-op diet. Um, so I'm really happy with my progress. And it's, it's an incredible tool that I'm so grateful that I have. Um, I know I definitely couldn't have done it without the surgery. So that's, that's that on that. Um, I still recommend it. I'm, you know, I'm still feeling good. Um, I did mention in my last update that um, I was having a pretty chronic back pain. I still do get that. Um, mostly, which funny enough, it's whenever I work. Um, I do feel like I carry a lot of stress in my back. So I think that that has to do a lot with it. Whenever I'm stressed out, in tense situations, doing this video right now. I can feel my back. It's just going like this. It's getting tight and it hurts really, really bad. So I'm going to try to get through this. Um, uh, I still have not gone to a chiropractor like I said that I was going to. Uh, and I'm going to kind of get into putting off things in this video. Um, I'm going to try not to make it too long and rambly because I know that some people just don't like to hear long rambly bullcrap. So, like I said, I did have surgery. I am four months out. Um, so I'm really, you know, like I said, I'm really happy with my progress. So I did miss my three month update and I'm really sorry about that. I hate excuses for things like, it, it, I don't know, I just, I don't like having, like, blaming things on excuses and stuff. I just feel like I should, you know, own up to everything, which I am. You know, I want to be completely transparent with y'all. And if this comes off rambly and kind of all over the place, it is, I have no idea, like, any plan of what I'm going to say. I didn't write down bullet points or anything like that. So I hope that all of what I'm trying to say is going to make sense. Um... Basically, my absence from social media has not been because of my surgery. My surgery has been going great. Um, I have been having really, like, successful weight loss as of recently. I haven't hit too many stalls. It's been a pretty steady going, you know, time for me as far as my weight loss goes. Um, I would say my absence is due to my mental health. And whenever I say mental health, I'm talking about my depression. I do have depression. I've had it before surgery. It's It's been a while that I've been dealing with this. I don't, I'm not on any sort of medication. I don't go to doctors or anything like that. So, yeah, that's another great thing about me. I am a procrastinator and I don't like to deal with things. So... That probably doesn't help with any of my situations at all. And whenever I say that I have depression, for me, it's I'll be at home and I'll sit on the couch and I literally will not move for 10 hours straight. I sit there, I won't eat, I won't drink, 
I'll just kind of be existing, staring mindlessly at the TV or at my phone. Sorry, I'm holding tweezers. I'm not suicidal or anything, so don't don't worry about it. And I, I try to put my best face forward, you know, and show that I don't have any problems. Um, I don't like to talk about it because I don't want people to worry about me. That's just how I am. I don't, like, just don't worry about me. I'm totally fine. We're cool. It's fine. I'm good. That's what I like to put forward just because I don't want people to worry about me. I'm not suicidal, like I said. I just get in really low moods and just really low places and I just feel like nothing. And whenever I get like that, I procrastinate. So the way that I have my office set up right now, just for an example, um, it's how it's been since I first started filming over a year ago. And I have, you know, accumulated things over the, over the time, you know, like equipment or um, furniture, you know, things like that for my office to make it easier, easier for me to film. But I haven't done anything with it. I have a backdrop stand that's sitting right over there in the middle of the room that's put up. I, you know, assembled it and everything, but it's sitting in the middle of my room and I still have not done anything about it. My desk, if you could see this right now, it looks like a hoarder's mess. It's bad right now. And I was blaming me not filming on all of this mess and the fact that you know, my backdrop stand is sitting up in the middle of the room and my mirror, one mirror is on the floor. I have another desk over there. I'm trying to, I want to get rid of this desk, but I haven't done anything about it. And so I blame my procrastination on my depression and my depression on my procrastination. And I'll just kind of shut down and I don't want to do anything with it. Like, I just want it to go away, but I can't make myself do anything about it. And it's not an every day that I deal with this. I mean, for a while, like, you know, I would have maybe one really low day out of, you know, three or four weeks, you know, so that's good. But I feel like through October, I, it was just for a, two or three days in a row every week. I would just shut down and I would just be like a zombie. That's, that's mostly how I can describe it. I feel like a zombie, just like a brainless, just existing life form that has nothing going on. So I'm hoping how I'm describing this that y'all understand. I'm not trying to use that as an excuse for me not filming or me not being present on social media. I just want you to kind of understand where my mind goes just so we can learn more about each other because I want to be completely like transparent with y'all. I want y'all to know. I just want y'all to feel like you can talk to me about anything. I can talk to y'all about anything. It's a cool judge-free zone and we can we can just hang out and we can talk we can talk about surgery we can talk about makeup you know we can talk about anything I got new hair extensions we can talk about that um, I just want y'all to feel comfortable with me so that's why I want to share this with you and I do want to point out that I think I've already mentioned this but I don't feel that my depression has gotten any worse after surgery and I don't believe that it's gotten better. I think it's still the same, you know, since, you know, before surgery, before I even thought about any of this. So don't think that, oh, just because I have depression now that if you get surgery, then you're going to have depression because that's not the case. I know some people say that their depression gets worse or better after surgery, so I think that's just something that you have to deal with, you know, decide with your doctor and your mental health, you know, what you think would be best. Um, 
like I said, mine hasn't gotten better or worse. This is just how it's been for me for a long time. Um, but, like I said, don't worry about me. I'm cool. <laughs> um, it's just something that I'm learning to deal with. And I really just have to push myself to get out of my own way if I want to get things done. So, now that we talked about that and you kind of know where I've been a little bit, um, I hope that you can understand. If you do have any questions for me about it or if you want to talk about, you know, what you're going through, I'm not a professional. I'm not a therapist or anything, but I'm always here to listen. You know, I just want you to know that, that if you ever need to talk about anything or you don't know who else to talk to, like, slide into my DMs and I would, you know, I'll be there to listen. But now that we've talked about that, um, I guess as far as my, um, sleeve goes, there really isn't anything new. I have noticed that I can't really handle sugar as much anymore. Um, I think I've been I, have, I wasn't eating sugar a whole lot, and I think, you know, as time goes on, you start to test things, and if I realize I'm eating too much sugar, I feel like crap. Like, I want to puke, feel like crap. So, yeah, I have noticed that, and that happened to me today because I ate, like, four or five bites of cheesecake, like, little bites of cheesecake, and it did not go over well for me. I didn't puke or anything like that but I felt like crap. So I hope that this was helpful for you. Like I said, if you have any questions, need anything at all, please reach out to me and I would love to help you out. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.